dear students welcome to the next part on the partial differential equation today i will upload all those questions which was asked in this csn at july 2025 part b myself dr harish kar you can follow and subscribe my youtube channel where you can find the lectures solutions of the integral equations lpp markov chain calculus of variation lpp and many more lecture in this playlist you can follow and subscribe my youtube channel now the first question is related to the cauchy problem and how you can get the answer in the 5 second because remember student this is the part b only one correct options out of these given four parts now clearly say if you look about the given uh, options 1 2 3 4 the given condition is u of x comma 1 and clearly say the first equation x will be 1 it satisfied my real conditions so 1 comma 1 will be 2 so that's a a is the right answer of this problem because it's a part b only one correct option rest all options are cancel and hardly you need a 5 second to get the answer fine kya aapne bhi isi tarah se examination mein kara tha aur kya aapne bhi question ko sahi correct kara hai aap kya aapka answer sahi tha is problem mein but i will tell you also if this is the if if this is related to the part c question then how you can check about the other options fine so it's a, again a very simple i can start with the cauchy problem for that if you already watch my cauchy problem py question of the cauchy equations then you can easily solve the problem in a couple of second i can start with the dx over y plus u then dy over y and then du over x minus y is it fine i can write this is x minus y fine or i can write i can firstly write as a x minus y dx minus dy what is the value of the dx minus dy it is my u fine and by using the first last two equations i can multiply them and integrate this becomes u square this happens x minus y square plus constant c1 over 2 so i can 2 cancel the first characteristic curve is x minus y square is c1 is it okay fine now we need the second equation as well so again is a very simple i can add x and u because i can clearly say y will be cancel out it's a u plus x then based on the second and the last i can integrate them if you integrate them it's a log of y it's a log of x plus u i can write in terms of the c1 of y that implies u plus x over y is by c2 these two are called as the characteristics curve fine now how you can find the solution i can write the function of the first part that is a u plus x divided by y which is equal to u square minus x minus y whole square now implement the initial condition u of x comma 1 is 1 plus x fine so if you substitute the value u plus x this is the value of the x 1 is the value of the y this is the value of the u fine so u plus x will be my 2x plus 1 y is my 1 this is my u square 1 plus x square and it is x minus 1 square so that number will be 2x plus 1 a plus b whole square it will be my 4x fine so if you simply take 2x plus 1 is my a then phi of a will be 2 of a minus 2 fine now you can substitute the values in this equation phi of a so that number will be twice of u plus x over y i can take in 2 as a common it will be and it is u square i can use as a, a plus b a minus b a plus b a minus b is it fine if you take the lcm and clearly say u plus x minus y will be common the rest of the expression becomes 2 over y minus u plus x minus y is my zero so therefore your solution will be either the first part will be zero so u or from the second case 
u will be your x minus is a 2 over y is a u plus 2 over y minus y but make sure this number can never be zero because if u is equal to y minus x what will happen the value of the c1 will be zero that means the characteristic curve first one is my passing through the here now you can check about the options what is the value of the u of 1 1 according to this is a zero and according to this it is my 2 what is the value of that 2 comma 2 again it's a zero for each case it will be the zero so i can start from here x minus y will also be cancel it is my 1 u of 3 comma 3 it is my 2 over 3 u of 4 comma 4 it is my 2 over 4 that is a 1 over 2 so clearly say it is not 1 over 2 it is not 2 over 3 it is not 1 only right option is a is the right answer of this problem fine but because it is the it's a question related to the part b and you can easily get the part b from the given conditions as the right answer okay look at the next one this is the question related to the wave equations fine so what is the my wave equation is u of t t which is equal to u of x x so clearly say the value of the c is my 1 Fine. Now, how you can find the value of the u? One comma one. Again, it's a very very simple approach. This number is my x. This number is my t. And if you already watch my lecture on the wave equation, p y equation of the wave equation, you can again solve in a couple of second. The initial condition I call as f. Partial derivative I call as a g. Whenever you have the wave equation, you always compute the value of x minus ct x plus ct fine so what are the answers x is my 1 t is my 1 c is my 1 this number is a 0 this number is my 2 therefore u of 1 comma 1 is f of 0 plus f of 2 divided by 2 plus 1 over 2c integrations from 0 to 2 of g what is the value of the g is x plus 1 into dx so can you find the value of the f of 0 1 f of 2 is 4 plus 1 5 the value of the c is my 1 what is the integration of the x plus 1 x square over 2 plus x from 0 to 2 the answer is 4 over 2 plus 2 minus 0 that is the 4 fine so it is a 6 over 2 is 3 3 plus 2 5 is my right answer of this from fine so you can see that it's a wave equation is a very simple way for more detail you can watch about my this lecture wave equation heat equation laplace equation and so on so let me know know the comment box have you get the both the correct answers in your examinations or not i will upload the part c very soon in my next video till then you can share this video with your friends like and comment on the video happy learning always thanks for the watching best wish